Uh, it is with great pride that I stand here tonight, uh, here this evening, to introduce this year's Coach Maxwell Award winner. Coach Bill Maxwell served as the head coach of Hobart football from 1991 to 1994, and during his time earned the respect and affection of everyone he interacted with, his players, staff, alumni, and all faculty on campus. Players and colleagues alike came to learn and to quickly appreciate Coach Maxwell for his tough love. The Coach Maxwell Award is presented periodically to someone whose contributions to Hobart College reflect the values of our friend and mentor, Coach Bill Maxwell. While sustaining this memory and legacy of Bill Maxwell, the award also presents Hobart with a meaningful manner to, in which to recognize worthy individuals for sportsmanship, courage, teamwork, and service to the community that are truly outstanding. To anyone associated with Hobart football and Hobart athletics, it was clear that Coach Maxwell left a permanent impression on our team and everyone he met. In only a short time, he and his staff helped change the trajectory of an inconsistent team to a winning team that earned a bowl invitation. Coach Max was a gentleman, but the players knew that they were going to work hard to achieve their success, treat others with respect, but kill their opponents with kindness with their play on the field. This year's recipient, Coach Mike Craig, was an assistant coach on that staff and a part of the transition that from taking Hobart football from mediocrity to a consistent winning program. Coach Maxwell unfortunately became ill while serving as the head coach and expressed his belief that Coach Craig was ready to be the next head coach. Coach Craig took over in 94 and continued the progression and turned football, Hobart football into one of the top programs in the country. <clears throat> the accolades for Coach Craig are impressive. In 23 years as the head coach, he compiled 157 wins to only 62 losses, a 72% winning percentage. He has more career wins at Hobart than any two of his predecessors combined. His teams earned a share of 11 of the Liberty League's 23 championships during his tenure. And he was inducted into the Hobart Athletics Hall of Fame in 2010. These are just a few that highlight an amazing career for him as a head coach. Even after he retired as head football coach, he stayed on as a senior director of development and advancement, helping athletics raise money and build the success for all of our programs here. I had the good fortune uh, to play for Coach Craig and was assistant coach with him for, for 15 seasons. And it was pretty clear that Coach Max and Coach Craig were similar in their way that they maximized their teams and showed tough love to their players. Coach Craig would work you hard, but love you just as hard. His team achieved great success for their wins, but just as important who their contributions were academically and within the community. Coach Craig has stayed very close with the Maxwell family and especially Bill's wife, Doreen, whose service to the Geneva community was so important to her and her family. Our current players hear me talk about the importance of tradition and honoring those who paved the way before us. They might know Coach Craig as the winningest coach in Hobart football history and a Hall of Fame member, but it's important that they realize all the hard work and commitment he had in mentoring their players, the importance of sportsmanship as you compete at a high level, and to be great members of the school and local communities. Our teams in Hobart football would not be the same without Coach Maxwell and Coach Craig. I had the great fortune to play, and like I said, coach alongside Coach Craig, and I'm confident that Coach Maxwell, his wife Doreen, and the entire Maxwell family would be excited to see Mike Craig as this year's Coach Maxwell Award recipient. Congratulations, Coach Craig. I'm sorry for everybody that did not have an opportunity to meet Bill Maxwell. He was the greatest mentor that anybody could ask for. To learn from, to be able to be under, to learn how to be a leader, and a true gentleman on the field, off the field, at all times. I wish I would have learned more of that from him too, but uh, what I really want you to know, what I want you athletes here to take away today, is I hope that you have an opportunity to coach someday. There's no greater calling. You'll never get as much passion and love and to be able to feel that and to know how to build a team, how to mold a team, how to come together, how to win with class, and to lose and to learn how to lose the right way. There's nothing better in the world than coaching. And I hope that all of you 
have at least a chance to coach your sons and daughters and know what it's all about. And the reason we had a lot of wins in football is because I was smart enough to hire a great staff, and they deserve all the credit. Thank you very much.